Hello again, my name is Daniel Russell and today we'll be talking about knowledge panels and Google search results and how you can prompt Google to show a knowledge panel for your business. Knowledge panels are boxes of information that sometimes show up in the top right hand corner of Google search results. Often things like your business name, the year it was founded, business leadership, your logo, and pictures will show up in the knowledge panel. Knowledge panels were introduced by Google back in 2012 and ever since then they've been a great opportunity for businesses to brand their search results for a couple of reasons. One is that a brand knowledge panel does not show reviews. If your business has been reviewed on Yelp or Google+, sometimes Google will pull in these reviews up at the top of search results. And if your business happens to struggle with negative reviews on these platforms, it can be a big hit to your branding when people see the negative reviews up at the top of your search results. By prompting Google to create a brand knowledge panel for your business, you can push these negative reviews out of the knowledge panel and keep things a little cleaner at the top of search results. Google has been very ambiguous about what it uses to create these knowledge panels in typical fashion. But through trial and testing, we've identified five different platforms online where you can put your business's information and it may help prompt Google to create a brand knowledge panel for your company. These places are first, Wikipedia. Now anybody can edit Wikipedia, but Wikipedia has very stringent guidelines about what can be added onto their encyclopedia. By learning these guidelines and having a Wikipedia page set up for your company, you can increase the chances of Google creating a brand knowledge panel for your business. Next up, is Wikidata. Wikidata is like Wikipedia in that anybody can edit it, but again, it has very strict guidelines about what content can be added. Take a look at Wikidata to see if any content is already there about your business. And if there's any key pieces of content missing, try filling them in and see if that prompts Google to set up a knowledge panel for your brand. Next up, is structured data. Structured data is markup text that you can add to your website to explain to Google how it should crawl your website. You can find the right markup text for your website by going to schema.org. Sometimes adding this data can prompt Google to create a knowledge panel for your website and your brand. Number four is Google+. Of course, Google is going to draw from its own social media platform. So if you haven't already, set up a Google Plus profile for your company. Make sure that the information that shows up on the profile is the same that's on your website and in other areas on the internet. And make sure you verify your Google Plus account. The final area is a database called Freebase. Unfortunately, you can no longer edit Freebase because it was locked a couple of years ago. But you can still go to Freebase and look up your company to see if it shows up. By adding your company's information to these five websites and platforms, you can vastly increase the chances that Google will set up a brand knowledge panel for your business. If you go through these steps and a knowledge panel still isn't showing up, keep in mind that it sometimes takes time for Google to roll out new updates. But another thing you might want to look into is looking into your competitors' search results on Google. When you look at your competitors in Google, does a knowledge panel show up? If so, take a look at where they've created profiles and try to mimic it as best you can. For example, if one of your competitors has a profile on Crunchbase, set up a Crunchbase account for your business. Or if one of your competitor's founders has a profile on AngelList, consider setting one up for your business's founder as well. While these steps in no way guarantee that a knowledge panel will show up for you, they certainly increase your chances. And we've seen several occasions where even adding just a Wikipedia profile will prompt a knowledge panel. So keep at it. Of course, let us know if you have any questions. I hope this has been helpful and thank you.